If you are in the market for a CNG powered vehicle, you now have more choice than ever before. But that big deterrent, that compromise that you've had to make in terms of practicality to get those added savings, that hasn't changed. Tata Motors okay. has tried to address this now with its newest offering, the Tata Altros iCNG. The Tata Altros iCNG looks identical to the other Altros versions. So you have the same sophistication to the way it looks with its quite intricate design touches. The only way to tell the CNG version apart is through the small iCNG badge on the boot lid. But the big draw with the Altros iCNG is that you still get a usable amount of boot space. So there's 210 litres. Yeah, it's a bit less than the 330 litres that you get in a petrol or a diesel Altros, but there's enough here, say for a weekend's worth of luggage for the family. Yeah, the floor isn't entirely flat, but a lot of work has gone into making this happen, as you will see. It's what Tata Motors calls the twin cylinder technology. So it's effectively two 30 litre CNG tanks placed side by side. And yeah, a lot of other things that have happened to sort of make this work. There's a six point mounting harness to keep this sort of tank arrangement in place. There's a manual shut off valve. So example, if there's a leak or a fire, you can just manually shut it off the flow of the gas. And you even have better protection, body protection at the rear of the car. So for example, if there's a rear impact so that, you know, there isn't a leak or the tanks don't enter the passenger compartment, thought has gone into sort of strengthening the car in that respect. Also, you still get a spare wheel. You access it like how you do in SUVs through that nut and it sort of falls down from here. So pretty much most things that you would want in a car have somehow still been taken care of with the Altros IC engine. <laughs> The interior design is again unchanged, so the smart looking dash with its various textures and contoured surfaces continues. The quality of materials and finish are also acceptable for this segment and space too is good enough for front row passengers. The big talking point though is that unlike rivals, the Altros' CNG option can be had right up to the top variants. So you get features like climate control, auto headlamps and wipers, 8 speaker sound system and connected tech. Now in terms of what's changed on the inside of the Tata Altros, and this holds true for all Altros models, you now get a sunroof which has voice commands, you get a wireless charger and you get an air purifier. Sadly, cruise control is now no longer available, but you do get a button to lock and unlock the doors, which was a big problem with the earlier one, it didn't have a button. But specifically for the CNG version, you now get the simpler sort of digital readout from the Tiago and Tigo. You don't get the richer screen that was there taken from the Safari in the regular Altros models. So yeah, it does give you the CNG uh, gauge and the fuel gauge, which is a good thing. But yeah, it could have been sort of presented in a more plush manner, if you will. Other CNG focused safety features are a micro switch that keeps the car switched off while refueling and a system that cuts off CNG supply to the engine and releases it into the atmosphere in case of a fire. The lack of ESC in the top variants is a miss, but you get two airbags, ABS and brake sway control. Now the Altros iCNG can start in CNG power itself, which is a good thing to have. And on this fuel, it makes about 73.5 PS and 103 Newton meters. And then when you switch to petrol, that goes up to 88 and 115. And yeah, this difference is quite noticeable. And mostly it's noticeable, say, when you're at lower speeds, where you notice that this engine, it didn't always have a great deal of low-end performance, and that is sort of slightly enhanced, but it in no way sort of hampers your regular everyday progress. Yes, you will have to sort of shift gears more often than not to keep the car running in its power band, especially since the CNG tanks and all the additions that have come with it have added about 80 or 100 kgs to the overall curb weight of the Altros. So that is about the biggest difference in terms of how this car feels. And then, of course, when you switch to petrol power, it's more or less identical to drive. Yes, you don't get the drive modes anymore, which is a bit sad. But other than that, it drives pretty much more or less the same. Tata Motors says it has improved low and torque with this new update, which is more noticeable in the petrol mode. The lower outputs in the CNG mode somewhat dilute this effect. But the Altros iCNG can start in CNG mode, and the switch between the two fuels is quite quick and seamless. 
We also managed a quick mileage test with the Altros ICNG, which returned over 18 kilometers per kilogram. But we'll wait for the full road test to pass our final judgment on the Altros ICNG's efficiency. Now, Tata Motors says they have also retuned the suspension for the added weight that has come in with this ICNG version. For example, the suspension has been made slightly firmer. So, what you do notice is that the Altros's ride, which was so composed and stable over say a smooth surface like this that has remained it feels very well planted at, at these times but when you come up to say a rough patch of a road or a sharp speed breaker you do notice that there is a loud thud the suspension is a bit stiff it's not very uncomfortable it still rounds off these bumps very well for a small hatchback but yes it rides slightly firmer than what the regular Altros does but again it's not something that will put you off buying the Altros ICNG The engine is quiet when you start up in CNG and at least at city speeds, there is little in the way of noise and vibrations filtering into the cabin, which make for a fairly calm driving experience. And in any case, it has pretty light steering. The gear shifts are easy, the clutch sort of is light to use. So as a city car where it'll make a lot of sense, the Altra's ICNG sort of ticks all the right boxes. It has enough power, to be honest, for that. And just in terms of how the car feels to drive, it's a perfectly usable city runabout. Tata Motors says 40% of the Tiago and Tigor sales are from CNG models, and the Altros i CNG should only take this forward. With its many variant options and long features lists, as well as the usable boot space, there are now fewer compromises than ever when you choose the more frugal fuel option. This should appeal to a wide selection of buyers, maybe ones who weren't in the market for a CNG car even. The price, which is between Rs 7.55 lakh to Rs 10.55 lakh, also adds to this sense.